How's it going, guys? I think it's like August 23rd or something like that. We're just about up north where we want to be. Ash is actually squawking in the rain right now. So we're hopefully going to catch up with her. We are currently um, pulling our fuel wagon and a drain bagger um, north. We're squawking in the rain, so that way we uh, don't sell as much canola. Squawk canola. Alright guys, I'll catch you here in a little bit. So, ha, there's where we want to go, but it just poured here, and uh, I don't have gravel over there yet. And I am not on the stuck list, and I don't think that I want to risk that. Yeah, basically I gotta go into a field. Yeah. I see, so anyway, this sucker pulls like a freaking dead yak because it was cutting a lot of wind on the way up here about 12 feet tall on the trailer and I am uh, it's for a 10 foot wide bag plus obviously there's some extra I got these straps on the top here that way with all the wind it was catching it didn't rip my funnel right off so yeah well I don't think we're gonna go to the field you guys I think I'm gonna back back out of here and uh Unhook somewhere else and then see if we can't go find Ashton. Okay, we dumped our trailer off and uh, we're heading up to try to find Ashton. She did call me and say that she's having a terrible time now. It's just it's getting too muddy. She moved to some of our stuff off her off her dad's. Um, and it's a bit of a move. And I guess we must have hit a little different soil zone or soil type. Probably uh, a little more clay or something because she's just having a little a terrible time. Almost got stuck six times and sliding around and it's mucky. And where she just came off of, uh, it's just raining like crazy. And they can still drive a pickup in the field, which sounds like it's a little sandier. So, but again, every soil zone is a little different. So, let's go see if we can't catch up with her. Looks muddy. Get the rut up roads here. See what she did the first round on both sides of the road. So this canola is our poorest. I just, I'm just hoping that it does about 20 bushel. That's what I hope, but uh, it might only do about 15. So I see Ashton. She's in that case swather over there. We'll wait till she gets a little closer. Oh, I guess I should, I should have brought my rubber boots. So I know you guys probably have a few questions like Mike, why are you swathing that versus straight cutting? Well, this is not a straight cut variety canola. So there are straight cut varieties and this is not one of them. So basically once they start getting brown, see if we can find some brown ones here. Once they start browning up and then uh, ripening, they'll actually split open and drop all their pods. For those of you who don't know that. Why would you grow a non-straight cut variety? Great question. Because uh, 
there's tons of different canola varieties out there and there's tons of different buyers who buy different varieties. And basically we went um, with a Nexera variety, right, wrong, or otherwise. And uh, wanted to try it. I'm a Liberty guy myself. That's what I grow back home. That is a straight cut variety. So swathing to me is foreign. But not to Ashton. She loves swathing. This canola that we took over, this was the stuff that we burnt because, I don't know, it was canola two years ago and then it all grew to cereals and then we burnt it all off. And then we seeded canola back into it for rotation reasons and uh, it's crap. Of course, it didn't rain all summer, so that didn't help either. But I've never worked with such poor farming practices prior to me getting to it in my entire life. Look at all this Canada thistle crap. Like, I'm going to hit this stuff so stinking. And dandelions. This is Canada thistle. That's dandelion. We got some volunteer wild oats, and we only sprayed it like three times. <laughs> only. Can't even find my canola in there. It's just a gong show. This is just ridiculous. Look at the water dripping off of this thing. How's it going? Not good. <laughs> I guess the crop is quite short which is making it very tough to cut. swathing in the mud in the rain? It's a great question. It's because it won't shell it as bad. You want to do it in tough conditions, like apparently like really dewy, foggy, rain, anything that's wet. If you do it in a hot, dry day, you're going to shell half of it out. Well, I don't know if it's half of it, but you know what I mean. You're going to shell a lot of it out. Let's see if we can't keep up. As I was saying, once we get this crop combined, I'm going to hit this stuff so heavy, it's going to be steaming, the, it's going to be melting the snow off of it in the middle of the winter. Shatter. Green means uh, if it's too green, it can shrivel 
up and then blow out and you can lose, you can actually lose yield. But the problem is, there was about a one week rain that came through between these two fields and these three fields are a long ways away and that's part of farming sometimes. We're going to cut this one too green and we're going to cut that one too ripe. Just got to split the difference. Hope for the best. But she, no, we're not going round and round. She's gonna make three rounds, and then she's gonna go up and back. Woo! Mike out of shape.
I'm thinking I'm crazy. Woo. Shift change. Mike tired. We need a camera shift change. Whew. Travis. How are you gonna get out of here? I'm, I'm going in the swamp. <laughs> Trav, I'm out of shape, buddy. Yeah. Holy cow. Yeah. Well, I've been running beside the swath for the whole time and realized that I'm not 16 anymore, buddy. Too much itchy band. Too much itchy band. Yes, I'm filming you right now. <laughs> okay. Ashton has given Travis uh, directions on where to go and where not to go. And I'm going to let you guys go. Oh, I like this. She's drawing a map. Ashton, are you drawing a map? <laughs> okay. She's going to huck her water bottle at me here is what she's going to do. I think Ashton's going to take back over around 5 in the morning. Trav is going to take it till obviously from now to five. Okay guys, we're done. Adios amigos.